Okay, good morning class. Okay, one of those days. Exercise 5 on page uh, 267, that was homework, correct? Thank you. So at this point we answered all questions 1 to questions 5, no? Okay. Then I'll give you the remaining sums for homework, correct? Was there any issues with these sums? Is there any problem? So we are spending just too much time on this work and yet you guys are getting what you're getting for this section of work. Which is uh, basically wasting my time. And uh, we need to move on to our new section, okay? So, uh, exercise 5. It was on page 267. So the sums that wasn't done was from... I did five yesterday, I remember, so six to nine. Okay. So no problems in particular here. Sorry? Number nine. Okay, so I'm going to do number nine. Uh, we'll do number 9 and then 6, uh, 7 and 8 I'll do in another video sometime Okay, and I'll just post it online Alright But we really need to move on There's one thing I still need to show you With regards to um, When sides are in proportion So it's basically the verse And then we'll take it from there Okay mm -hmm. So as I indicated, we're just, we're just spending too much time on here. And it is not even fruitful because you guys are fading the section. Miserably. You're not even trying. So which is sad. No? Sad. Very sad. So the call is for question 9. So we are told that MR is a tangent to the circle MST. So MR is a tangent to the circle MST. So if this is a tangent, what do we know? We know that M1 is equal to angle T. Okay. Then we are told that cord ST is produced to R. ST is produced to R. So in that order, it's going in that direction. Okay, and the question says prove that rm squared, so where's rm squared, rm squared, so in other words, rm, they're using this line twice. Can we make two triangles with that line? Yes. So we say in triangle, mrs and mrt, this is triangle. And triangle M R T that goes in. So what can we say? Angle R, yes. Is it common? Angle. M1 is equal to angle T. Why? Tan chord. Okay. And thirdly, the unknown, the, 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 the angle that was not mentioned in MRS, this S1, is equal to, and in the big triangle, the angle that is not mentioned is the combination of M1 and 2, which is RMT. And the reason here is the third angle of triangle. Okay. So we can conclude, therefore, triangle MRS is similar to triangle. So we've got M of the small triangle is the same as angle T of the big triangle 
angle R of the small triangle is angle R of the big triangle, which is the common angle. And angle S of the small triangle corresponds with angle M of the big triangle. Okay? And the reason here is angle, angle, angle. Okay? So from here we can go with the distance story. You can firstly say that the definitely behind. You can say that MR over TR is equal to RS over RM equals MS over TN. Why? Because uh, the corresponding sides are in proportion. Corresponding sides are in proportion. So if you look at what they wanted, they want you to prove um, MR squared. So here we go, here you can see it. So we cross multiply it. Yeah? So MR squared is equal to um, RS, uh, TR, or RT, times RS. So they were just proven one by one. Okay? So I'm just going to uh, take this out here. Because of the space, I would like to keep the, the diagram in focus. Okay, that's the idea. Okay. Let's look at B. In B, this was A, B they want to know if R is is X. R is is X. Okay, let's change the color. You can see which question is coming with which. Uh, what's the name? So they make that X. Okay? Calculate the length of R is. If TS is 5, so TS is 5, TS is 5, and MR is 6. Okay. So once you get this question, we take it back to this here. Okay. So what is the length of MR? MR is 6. So it's going to be 6 over TR, TR, 5x, uh, 5 plus x, or x plus 5, not so, R is x, and R is, sorry, 6, M is, down there, TM, down there. Why didn't I go with the straight away? I could have, not so. But the question didn't say hints. Can you see that? With that said hints, then I knew a straight away I could have gone with. You guys understand? But after some insight from looking at, at the, the ratio, we could have now seen, we could have used it. You understand? So hints now means to say use your, your previous answer. Okay. But you guys are much smarter than that. Right? You can figure it out immediately. So, number nine. So what we do here from here is a matter of solving for x. So that will give x squared plus 5x equals 36. So that gives us x squared plus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0, 9 and 4. So x and 9, x and 4. 
plus 9 minus 4. So x equal to negative 9 or x equal to? People very important at this point is that if you cannot calculate this using the rules of factorization, factorizing the trinomial, use the quadratic equation. Okay, that is one thing you guys can do and you never get it wrong is using the quadratic equation. Okay, and here you can use the quadratic equation. Okay. Coming back to this answer that they have given us here, or that we have gotten here. We've got x equal to negative 9, x equal to 4. Now when it comes to this work, we must put it in context. Can RS be negative? Length is never negative. So then the answer is not 9, x is equal to 4. They wanted RS and RS is your x. You guys understand? All right. And that, that basically brings us to the end of um, exercise 5 for now. As I said, I will uh, we'll do 6, 7 and 8 in another video and post it below this one. Okay. Okay, so we're going to now look at example 12. We must prove that these lines are parallel. I, I would say these Questions is very similar to um, exercise five. Okay. Okay. I think I must do the examples. So your homework is going to be exercise six. Uh, it's number six. Again, this will be done in another video. So exercise six. Um, this is on page two hundred and seventy-two. From here, it is the sums I want you to do. You can do this in your own time. I won't be marking this tomorrow. But this I will be doing in another video. It's uh, number three, four, five, uh, six. I've seen six and I've tested this question before. Okay. So we're looking at example 12 on page 269. I need to do uh, the, 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 the reverse of the proportionality proof. Um, application, sorry, not proof, because that is not tested in the exam. So you'll see now what I'm talking about after this. I okay. need to get through this quickly. All these exercises are very, very important. Eh? This is on page 269. Eh? Example 12. Right, so in example 12 on page 269, we are told that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral, what do we know from here? What do we know? We know many things, okay. A, B, C, D is a cyclic one. We know that B3 is equal to C3. And um, A2 is equal to B2 and many more angles that is equal. Not so. Then we are told that 
chords BC and DC are equal. If those chords are equal, what do we know? We know that A2 is equal to A1. Why? Equal chords are things equal angles on the same side. Okay? Then we know that that's also equal. Not so? Because I have the angles in the same sequence there, if needed. Um, right. Then we are told that ECF is a tangent to the circle at C. So if there's a tangent, what do we know about this angle here? C1. C1 is equal to angle A1. Why? Tan cot here, which is also D2. But what do we notice now? We notice that B2 is equal to C1. If that is the case, what do we know? If that's the case, what do we know, people? We don't know anything. Okay, I'll tell you. We know that BD is parallel to EF. Why? Because alternate angles are equal. Okay. So, um, then we are told um, at C, no? then we are told chord AB is produced. So, AB is produced to E to be tangent at E. AC and BD are drawn. But they are asking us to prove what we already discovered without even looking at the question. The question says prove that BD is parallel to EF. You've done the job already. Right, so let's just put it in context. Okay, so they go A. Where they want us, I'm going to do it here. A. They want us to prove that BD. So we're going to prove that B2 is equal to C1. So what I do is, to make life a bit easier for me, I introduce an X. So we say that one of the angles that we're going to prove to be equal to the other, I get X. So let angle C1 equal to X. So there's X. So which other angle is equal to C1? We're going to try the shortest method with the shortest route to get to B2. D, sorry? D2, no? Is that what you say? So D2 is equal to X. Why? Tan cos here. Not so. Right. What else can we say at this point? And that's behind the... Okay, that's fine for now. Tan cos here. Which other angle is equal to X? Sorry? B2. Why is B2 X? Angles opposite equal sides. Did you see that before? I didn't even mention that, but it is the case. So B2 is equal to X. Why? Um, then go to here, not then go to here. Angles opposite equal sides. Okay. So what can we say now? Since, you can state the obvious. Since um, B2 is equal to C1 which is equal to X. Therefore, BD is parallel to EF. Why? Because the alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are equal to people. Okay. Take the calculator off. Alright. So now I'm going to write drawing pattern lines here. Again, if we didn't manage to prove that it's parallel, okay, then you're still writing in to answer the next question. Because I'm already assured that you're going to use that line to be parallel to answer the next question. Okay. Let's look at B. In B, the same, you must prove, for the boy is not jumping around again. In B, okay, I must align it. In 
CD. They say CD over BE. So we go CD, CD, yes, over BE. BE is this length here. Now, if they say CD, CD is the same as which length? BC. So in, they could say, the question could say CD, but in your proof you could have first have to have solved BC. So this is the same now, don't forget that. So if you see here, this could have also been BC. Make sense, people? Right. Then BE, I mark that, AD. That one there. And CB. Uh, CD, sorry. This one. Another CD. This one. Okay, which I did mark. Do we have two triangles? Do you have an idea of the two triangles already? I would go with this one here, and this one here. Not so? We get this is x, which is the same as that x, which is the same as that x. So we got the x sorted already, okay? Then, B1 is equal to what angle? B1, uh, D1 plus D2I, that's correct, why? Exterior angle of cyclic one is equal to the interior of So there we have done the job already. Can you see that people? So let's go with that quickly. I don't know how to leave that thing. So we're going to say that C1, or firstly, a2, A1 is also equal to X. Why is A1 equal to X? Tan for theorem. Okay. Then A1 is equal to A2 is equal to X. Why? I told you earlier on. Equal um, chords, subtends equal angles on the same side. Because BC is equal to DC. Um, equal chords, subtends equal angles on the same side. Okay? So therefore, um, C1 is equal to A2, which is equal to X. So there we got one angle. That's why we need two marks in the back. Okay? Well, I forgot to say, intra-angle, uh, EBC, Entra angle ACD. Right. We normally start our similarity of line. Secondly, what can we say? We say that B1. That's ugly. B1 is equal to ADC. B1 is equal to ADC. Why? We say that it is exterior angle of cyclic what equals the interior opposite. Okay? And the third angle, of course, is angle E, which is not accounted for. It has to be equal to angle C3, which is also not accounted for at this point. So it's the third angle of triangle. So that is enough to conclude similarity. Let's pull this down here. It's enough to conclude similarity. So therefore, it's way too much. Therefore, a, a triangle EBC is similar to triangle. So you got E was the unaccounted angle, which is C being unaccounted for. B and D is the same. And C on this triangle and A of the other triangle. Not so. And the reason is angle, angle, angle. But definitely the, the, the question was regards with, was with regards to the lengths, the ratios. So what can we say from here? We can say that EB over 
CD is equal to BC over DA equals EC over CA. The reason is the proportionality theorem. No, not proportionality. Corresponding sides are in proportion. Thank you. So, what do they want? They want uh, CD. CD, yes. They want AD, yes. BE and DC. But we said that. E, B, we got that, we got C, D, which is that ratio, we got A, D, D, C is the issue. Can you see that? And that is what I tried out to highlight earlier on, that that lens are equal. You see that, people? So this is the, the, the ratio we need to work with. Okay? This goes next to that, no? Or below that side. So we say that so I'll give the diagram in focus. So we the, the BC is the issue. Not so? So we're gonna say that BC, the length of BC is equal to C D. Why? It was it was given equal, not so. So therefore the, the ratio is also swapped around, we're gonna swap the ratio around as well. I know it's a bit messy now. Swap it around, it's going to be CD over EB is equal to DA over BC is replaced with C. And there we go. Okay. Very good question. Probably six marks on that question. Proving lines of parallel. That is normally, in this case, we went one, about one. Two, three marks. Normally three marks on proving lines of parallel. So there's nine marks, people. Okay. Example thirteen. I would have to do in the in the in that video where we're going to look at exercise six as well. Okay. The example thirteen on page. As I said, we're just running out of time. It's going to waste. 271. Okay. He gave you the numbers I want you to do out of this exercise. No? Theorem 3, the converse. This is not for examination purposes. We don't have time either. Okay. They won't ask you to prove that given the sides are in proportion that to prove the theorem that says that the two triangles are similar. Okay. Normally we prove similarity and then we went to the fact that sides are in proportion. The converse, the reverse of that is never examined. So... We're not going to do the theorem or the proof thereof. However, I'm going to look at exercise 14 on page 274. Exercise 14 on page 274. Go a bit slower through this because this is asked often. We're not very, very nice. but the other one is normally asked, no? but I've seen this one come in as well. That's why I'll take this a bit slower.
Example 14, page 274. So here we are told that in triangle DGH, DGH, which is the big triangle, okay? They always refer or reference to the big triangle first. We are told that EF, EF is 5, DE is 4, GE is 8, um, BF is 6 and FH is 2 and GH is 3. The question says you are required to prove that triangle A, a DEF is similar to triangle a DHG. So what do you notice with regards to this triangle or this uh, question in particular? You should notice that what is given here is a whole lot of lengths, not so so whenever this is given, we do the following. We do the following. We take it from, from this here. We work out what DE over DHG is. Then we work out what EF over HG is. Then we work out what D, F over D, G is. Where do we get this from? From that thing. Okay. Can we conclude here that we are getting it from the fact that triangle D, E, F is similar to triangle D, H, G? No. Why not? Because we have to prove that that is similar first. You guys understand? So you're writing you know, your using values there with me? So what do we get? DE is 4 over DH is sorry? 8. So that is half, not so. EF 5 over HG 10, which is half. DF, if the, so if this is not a half, it's not similar. Not so. When it is a half, it is then similar. DF 6 over. Um, DG, DG, which is this length here, which is 8 and 4, is 12, which is R. Not so. We state the obvious, we say since uh, DE over DH is equal to EF over HG equals DF over DG, which is equal to? Oh, you write the ratio here. Therefore, triangle in its order, DEF, is similar to triangle DHG. And what do you think the reason is here? Sides, corresponding sides, are in proportion. So here are the corresponding sides are in proportion. confusion people? No? Okay, let's do another one. The next example is going to come out of exercise uh, 7 on page 275.
तुम्हारे भी स्टार्ट है यात्री का नाम चाहिए ओके Exercise seven, page two hundred seventy-five. I'll give you a couple of minutes to 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 sort this one out. And then I'll do it on the board. Okay. At this point, I'll pause the video as well. Okay, at this point you guys should be done. Correct? So let's go. Intra-angle ABC. Okay? We are told that... Okay, all the, the, the lengths are given. AB is uh, 4.8. Uh, AC is 3.6. BC is 4.2, which is the whole length. And we are told that DF is 2.4. Um, EF... 2.8. I think that's where the list D. The question says uh, prove that those two triangles are similar. So we say that AB over DE and BC over EF and AC over uh, DF. So AB. 4.8 over 3.2. Is that correct? Yes. Which gives us? So 3 over 2. Do you all agree with that? Yes. The next one is going to be BC, which is 4.2 <coughs> over 2.8, yes. which is 3 over 2. The next one is AC, 3.6 over just do. So we say this now goes at the bottom here, no? We say since we state the obvious, since AB over DE is equal to BC over EF equals AC over DF, which is equal to 3 over 2. Therefore, if you answer the question, the proof, which is therefore triangle ABC, is similar to triangle DE. Why? Because the corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay? Corresponding sides are in proportion. Any confusion, people? No? Then at... Good morning, may I have your attention, please? The following grade 11, can you please report to the office now? Sisipo in 11B, Libongo in 11A, and Arisma April in 11A. Those two learners can you please report to the office now? Okay, so um, for homework, it's uh, exercise six, number, number, no, we did exercise, we spoke about exercise six, no? You should be able to do exercise uh, seven, number two. All right, so in tomorrow's video, it should be a bit shorter. We're just going to answer, remind me tomorrow, we're going to answer the out of the revision exercise there was three sums we haven't done we already did one is that correct Can you remind me of those three sums you're going to do all three sums inclusive of that one and we're going to go into the of trigonometry however they will as time goes on the videos for the following exercises will be loaded okay it won't be done in front of a class it will be done um remotely okay either by my house or Oh yeah, at school, but you guys will probably not be here because on Friday that passed, I was here with four people. Do you know that? 
four people. Are you guys coming this Friday? How can you come if you're having an event? You still gonna come? Okay? Tell me waste my time please, okay? Um, theorem 4, which is the, 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 the Pythagoras, the theorem of Pythagoras, the application thereof. Okay, you can do similarity and, and, and the proportionality without this theorem. However, this theorem just simplifies matters tremendously. Okay, this is on page 276. This video will come later on. With this, you should be able to do exercise 8. Of importance is number 1, number 2, number 3, 4, 5, and 6. The whole exercise. I'll do a video on the revision exercises as well. The revision exercises, the numbers that will follow is number 1, number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 11, yes, 12, 13, and 14. Those are the, 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 the diagrams that look uh, very similar to what has been tested before. Okay, people enjoy this every day. Uh, good morning, class.